Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about seesaw program to find position of a character and their occurrence in a given a string or sentence or word. Suppose if I enter the sentence Hi friends, so I have searching character I enter I. So I is at position 2 and here this is position 6 and the I occur 2 times. So let's do the coding. Let's write the code in inside the main method. So actually, I'm going to take cook cat and flavor as well. And hereafter, a string variable str and integer variable. So first is i, next break initializing 0 and your flag going to initialize with 0. And hereafter, let's write console class dot right line method and insert the double quote. I'm going to write into any string sentence. Or word. And hereafter, let's write str console class dot redline method. And hereafter, console class one more time. console class dot writer method so add your interval code enter the searching character and your sr equal to Care dot parse console dot red line now hereafter let's write to follow so at your i value start from zero and take the condition i less than str dot length function and here i plus plus and hereafter if a statement and here str of i double equal to sr if this condition is true so that coincide and here the flag value is now 1 and your console class dot right line method and uh, add here going to print add so json plus i plus 1 and here after click Plus plus. And here, yeah, if flag double equal to one, if this condition is true, so that coincide here yeah, console class dot right line method and here yeah, character plus sr. Occurred of week value and your interval code times.
if if condition is true so if the condition is not true so that go to else part here that print console class dot statement method so at here going to display character not want So this is the code to find the position of any character, any given character, and the occurrence. So let's execute the code. So I have to enter any sentence, a string sentence word. So I have to. I'm going to enter hi friends. So I have to. I is to. Position and your six position, and it it occurred two times. So let's press add here give i so add here add position two add position six and i character i occurred two times. So getting the expected output. Now let's enter. Let's execute one more time. Here I'm going to enter excellent. So in excellent e is. Or three times, so this is a repeated character. So let's search at your e. So e is at three position here after five, six, seven, eight, and e occurs three times. So getting the expected output. And let's execute one more time. So at your i enter Sam. And I'm now I'm going to enter the character that is not present in Sam. So K is not inside the same. So here the output comes character not found. So getting the right output. I'm going to discuss what the training or steps of execution of this our program. So this code I paste at here. So if you debug the code, control comes to main method. Hereafter that go inside. So right here, I have taken carry time variable sr, and here after a string variable str. And here after integer variable i, and prick, So the prick in is less to zero, and here flag. So one more variable flag. So flag also in is less to zero. Here after console class dot write line method. So what are we do? We got this way displaying to the output screen, and here str equal to console dot write line. So whatever I am going to enter, so that received by str. So at your console class dot read line. So this accept the value and str into str. So inside the str, I am going to enter i friends. You can enter any string. Since so uh, str, so at your str is add time. So first I am going to do the indexing. So this is zero index here one. This is two. Here three. Here four. Here five, so this is the six and your seven, and here after control comes to this point console class dot write and method. So this will display into the output screen into the searching character here sr. So what am I going to enter? So that is by sr. So I am going to search character i and your cat dot pause. 
So write your console dot read line. So this accept any string value, and here I'm using char dot pot. So this string value convert into the character and store into s. So this is the character i, and here after for loop, control comes to for loop. Here i value start from zero. That check the condition zero less than s char dot length. So the length of i friends total characters are at your eight. So total characters are here eight. So this is now str characters are eight. So this condition is eight here, and here zero less than eight. So this is true. So at here if str of i i value is zero, str of zero position, and str of zero position h, and here I enter i value, sr value i. So h double equal to i. So this condition is not true. So if a statement that not go, here after that go increase the value of i. So i is now one. Check the condition one less than eight. Condition is true. So right here if s to one position equal to s r. So one position is i and s r value i. So i equal to i. So condition is true. So right here flag is now one. Sorry, flag is now one here. Or console class dot write line method. So this display into the output screen and i value is now one one plus one. So this display two. Here at position two and here after flick increase. So flick is now one. Here after that go up increase the value of i. So i is two now. Check the condition two less than eight. The condition is two. So right here s two two position equal to i two position is f f equal to i so this is not true here i gonna increase so i is three now check the condition three less than eight condition is true so at here s two three position equal to i three position r r equal to i so this is not true here after i is now four check the condition four less than eight condition is true so at here s two four position is i and here s r value i i equal to i so this is true so that coincides so at here flag is now one and here That display console dot write line at position i plus one so four plus one so this display five and here after flick is now two and here after that go up increase the value of i so i is now five check the condition five less than eight condition is two so right here s two of five position equal to s r so five position is e s r value i so both are not equal here after i is now six. And I'll check the condition. Six less than eight condition is true. So at here, str of six position n n equal to i. So this is not true. So that not coincide here. After i is now seven. And check the condition. Seven less than eight condition is true. So that coincide. So at here, str of seven position is d d equal to i. So this is not true. Again, that not coincide. So here i is now eight. Check the condition eight less than eight. So this condition is not true. So that out from for loop here. If flag equal to one, so flag value is one at here. So this coincide console class dot write line method. So write line method. So this will do display whatever in double quote and here character. So this will display character in or uh, output screen here sr value. So sr value here i. And here, this or display into the output screen. And here, flick value. So flick value is two. And this will display into the output screen. So sr can concatenate with character, and it can concatenate with occur here. Plus, this is for concatenation. So the output screen, this or display character i occur two times. So if condition is true, so that not go to as part. And here, so suppose if I enter uh, i value, so the value of i I'm going to enter. Sorry, suppose if I enter s r value at your k, so k is not to present on uh, this array. So what will happen? So at here I enter s r value k. And this will check one by one. S T first time S T R of I. So first time I value start from zero. Check S T R zero position equal to K. So H equal to K. 
here after that check i equal to k f equal to k r equal to k e equal to k n equal to k d equal to k so this all condition not satisfied so if all condition is not satisfied then the flag value or uh, not to change so flag value is still zero so flag value if flag value is zero and here yeah, that come if flag equal to one so flag is zero zero equal to one so this is not true so that go to as part and here yeah, console dot right line so this display character not found and here after console cross dot trade time method so this will do this will uh, terminate the output scheme and next that out from main function and here yeah, so this time I enter str value hi friends so you can enter any a string character or word and uh, do the same trial method so definitely you will get the expected output so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week so one more thing if you have problem or if you have any difficulty to understand this program so leave your comment definitely I will reply thank you